On this episode of News Connect, we're speaking with some community members about the uncompleted footbridges along the Atomic Medina and Adenton Highway and the effect that it's having on them. My name is Melissa Award for News Connect. This is City TV. Stay tuned. So we're talking about the uncompleted footbridges and we're standing right next to one right now. So you two are both students. So just talk to me about your frustrations. If you have any frustrations about these uncompleted footbridges, what's your journey like to school every day? Yeah, sometimes like we wait for the cars to pass before we go to school and that it delays our time. So like we needed them to just complete the bridges and some of our um, old women too. They can't climb the bridges, like maybe cross the roads to the next level. So they, are, they must do the bridge for them to pass on it so that they can just move towards on. Speak to me about your frustrations and you, and you have a personal experience, right? Talk to me about that. Basically, you know, my mom is 61 years old and we, 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 we stay at assemblies. You know, she has to cross this median before she can have access to buy credit card at the other side of the road and it's frustrating and you know my uncle used to live in Ghana and right now he's in the state when he was in Ghana he was the one who wanted her not to climb that or not to jump that medium so he told your mother don't jump the medium don't jump the medium because you might not know and you know it, it, it's a highway when the cars are coming they are just the, the speed is it's 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 it's, 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 it's something else so my mom had to, she, she had to, um, she, she, she's supposed to walk to Rich Junction. There's a place called Rich Junction. So she will be able to cross the road, come back to where the credit card seller is before she'll be able to have access to the credit card. Go back to Rich Junction, come back to assemblies. And you know, there are two churches there. We have the EP and the Assemblies of God. And you, I, how, how I wish you guys were here on Sunday. You will see women of almost i think 60 plus years wow. old and they'll be jumping this medium and it's 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 serious it's about 10 years since this road was being constructed and this footbridge also was constructed maximally we were supposed to finish this thing maybe after the completion of the road but they've decided to abandon it like this and each time children are crossing some of them are as young as two, three, up to the age of 10, crossing with their elderly one, like the 10-year-old girl or boy. So suppose nobody is here to cross the children. No, there has been instances where a car has knocked twice kids over here because they were trying to cross without any adults escorting them. And we've been complaining, we've been complaining time and time and more, but they seem not to, you know, pay his to us. But just, I think, three days ago, a car knocked another student right in front of us here. Did I you see it? it. Yeah, I you saw it. it. I saw it. And the lady was being rushed to hospital, right? And another, it's, it's like frequent death over here. We've been complaining, but... Who are you complaining to? We've complained to the assemblyman because he's the only person we can talk to at the moment since we don't know anybody in government. So we complained to the assemblyman. We've even planned on going a demonstration, maybe on Monday. So what is when you've complained, what has been the response? Nothing has been done. Has Nothing. anyone actually responded to you? Have they picked up the phone? Have they come to meet you? Have you met them? No, Nothing no. At Nothing at all. Wow. And the MC also passes here. I think she lives around. She has been pass applying this route to her office every day. She's been seeing it. We've been complaining to her, May. A whole lot. We've been complaining, but nobody seems to pay attention to us. So we are the messes of God. How we cross the streets, how we come home, how we children even do everything. It's like nobody cares. Have you heard maybe some of them talk about how difficult it is to cross the road? Yes. What do they say? They said when they are crossing the road, they maybe the car will hit them, or when they finish crossing the road, someone will catch them. So when they are crossing the road, they will take car and they will go. The car will catch so that they can cross the road. 
So we're talking about the footbridges, uncompleted, and we're just standing right here in front of one. Um, so you guys, t- talk to me. Talk to me about your, you know, your journey to school and even just having to go around. What is it like? Is there frustrations? Yeah, it's very stressful. You see, at times, like, crossing the road to the school, you know, it puts our lives in danger. For instance, let's say a, a, a car may be coming, and then you being a student, like let's say you be late for school and you be in a hasty way to get to school early, and then a car may also be coming from somewhere else without you knowing. A car may hit you down or something else. So, uh, as for this bridge, like uh, this foot bridge, we will be happy if it will be constructed because since we came to Form One, it has been there, and then there have been changes of um, uh, governments of offices. There. Up to now, there hasn't been anything done about it. So, we'll be very happy if something be done about this footbridge on the traffic light at uh, Presec. The traffic light doesn't work, so when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we stand there until maybe an elderly person stops the car before we cross. So that is affecting us, it delays our time. So you can even stand there like for 30 minutes and then the cars are not stopping. Really? Yeah, wow. So we are, um, yeah, we are like it's frustrating. How often do you have to use this stretch? Do you use it a lot? I use it frequently, frequently every day, almost every day. So what has been happening over here is, is making us very frustrated because I, at least um, if I'm not lying, like um, let's say 20 or 30 people have been knocked down on this very road. So at least the MP and the uh, the what they call it, the sector minister. They have to get to work. They they have been seeing it. They know what what normally goes on over here. So at least they sh- they, they should help us. They should help us out because only the foot uh, the the step the over the overpass have been already uh, built already. Yeah, completed. So it's it's only the step that they are supposed to do. So they should come to work. It is just simple. You know, as citizens of this country, we cannot ask for much. We are not demanding for anything. All that we are demanding for is just a footbridge. Okay? They know this has been here for more than 10 years. But they seem not to care. Because I don't see why this footbridge from here to um, Atomic Junction, which is the last one, none, none has been completed for over 10 years. I don't know what they are waiting for. I don't care who started it and who has to end it. All we want is they should fix it for us. Our children are crossing, our brothers, our sisters. When I see a child or a student being knocked down by a car like this, as a mother, I feel bad. Because if supposing that person was to be my relative or my daughter, my son or whatever, how would I feel? Okay, We are not asking for anything from them. We want them to come and just fix it. If even they have made it like the Shashi one, the Shangri-La, uh, that, I think Shashi, yeah. The way they are overpassed, if, if they were to do it like that, maybe by now they have finished. So I don't know why and what they are waiting for. They should just tell us, they, we don't know what they are waiting for. If it is funding, I know they have it. They have money for other things, but they don't have money for just these simple footbridge constructions. You see, cars are killing us because this is a highway. And from Oyarifa or mountain descending towards Madina, if the traffic light is not working, before you realize the car is up to where you are standing, because it's a highway, and the speed that the car, that the rate of speed is so high, okay? So if you are crossing, you think the car is a little bit far, and you don't take care. Before you cross, even how many stretches? About six, seven lanes. Before you cross to the other, the car has knocked you already. That's it for another episode of News Connect. My name is Melissa Rawad. This is City TV. Keep watching.